Luis Perez is one of my favorite players that has come out of the spring football leagues over the past few years. For some reason, I have always been drawn to him as a player and wanted to do a video on him since I started my YouTube channel. After going undrafted during the inaugural draft and the supplemental drafts for the USFL, I thought I was going to have to wait a little longer to make this video. Then, presumptive New Jersey general starter Ben Holmes went down with a toe injury that basically put him out for the season. All of a sudden, Perez got a phone call and he was on his way down to Birmingham to start for my New Jersey Generals. With today being the first game of the USFL season, I thought it was about time I made this video. Luis Perez was born on August 26, 1994 and grew up in Southern California. His father was a professional soccer player in his native country of Mexico. Rather than following his father's footsteps and playing what the world considers to be football, Perez decided to play American football instead, starting his quarterback career on junior varsity. He played two years of junior varsity in high school, but after constantly being moved around by his coaches, he decided to stop playing. Perez decided to attend a community college, attending Southwestern College, We decided to walk onto the football team with no high school film and no experience at the high school varsity level. He came in as a quarterback and was the ninth player on the depth chart. The coaches recommended him to change his position, but he refused, believing he could be the team's star quarterback. Due to injuries and transfers, he would become the starting quarterback by the third week of the season. He made his debut against Los Angeles Pierce College, throwing for 250 yards and two touchdowns, while also rushing for a touchdown on the ground. He played roughly half the season before getting hurt and missing the remainder of the year. Luis returned the following season, leading his team to the conference championship. He threw for 280 yards in three or more games and started making a name for himself. Unfortunately, Perez would not earn a Division I scholarship and instead enrolled at Texas A&M Commerce, a Division II school in northeastern Texas. He would redshirt his freshman year before taking over the starting role the following year, becoming the first player of Mexican-American or Hispanic descent to start at quarterback for the Lions. He would have a strong season being named a Harlan Hill Award nominee, the Heisman Trophy of Division II, finishing the year throwing for 3,326 yards, 32 touchdowns, and 5 interceptions. The Lions won their first Division II playoff game since 1991, but lost in the second round. The following year, Luis led the Lions to win the Division II National Championship and won the Harlan Hill Award. He put up big numbers throwing for 5,001 yards, 46 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions, and finished his career throwing for 8,327 yards, 78 touchdowns, and 16 interceptions in two years, putting together a 22-3 record as a starter. He would go undrafted in the 2018 NFL Draft, but was signed by the Los Angeles Rams, but later released. He then would sign with the AAF, playing for the Birmingham Iron, helping them clinch a playoff berth before the season was suspended. He would then be signed and waived by the Eagles and Lions before joining the XFL, originally being allocated to the Los Angeles Wildcats. After the Wildcats signed Josh Johnson, Perez would be traded to the New York Guardians. Perez impressed in the XFL, leading the New York Guardians into playoff contention before the season was cut short. He then played in the Spring League, leading the Jousters to the championship game. He was one of the more intriguing players going into the USFL draft, with Mike Mitchell from XFL News Hub writing, Luis Perez will be an asset to any team in the USFL. Coaches will love him. Not only is he a hard worker and humble, but Perez is only 27 years old and still has upside. He's had tough luck in his development though. Surprisingly, Perez was not taken during the USFL draft, nor was he taken during the supplemental draft. The chances of seeing Perez in a USFL uniform this spring looked bleak. To many of us Spring League fans, it was shocking to us, and we wondered whether he was going to focus on the XFL instead. But then, the New Jersey General starting quarterback Ben Holmes went down with an injury, and Perez's phone rang. Head coach Mike Riley met Perez when they were both with Birmingham in the AAF, and Riley told Fox Sports' RJ Young, I thought that Luis Perez would help our team. And even though we didn't have him, nobody else had selected him. I know everybody else looked at him real hard. I knew that he could help us, so I wanted to get him here. Perez was too good not to be playing in the USFL. Along with his football career, Perez is also a professional level bowler, earning college scholarships to bowl after having 12 perfect games in high school. Of all the quarterbacks in the USFL, Perez is the guy I am most excited to watch and I am so happy he is on the Generals. Which quarterback are you most excited to watch this spring? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more college football and USFL content, and check out one of my more recent videos right here. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, remember to embrace the grind.